Hey guys, it is me, Hepasarik, and welcome back to Dada Zombie Survival. So, we've gotten a brand new update, Spring Festival update. And here in our shelter, we have this egg collector guy. So, hey, let's talk to him. How about you find one egg in a basket to start with and take one decoder from a hair head? Do it anywhere, even in the quiet grove. And just like that, the Spring Festival has begun. And before we participate in this event, I'd love to give a massive thanks to Dada Zombie Survival for sponsoring this video. And if you've never heard of Dada Zombie Survival, then you're in for a treat because Donna Zombie Survival is a really awesome mobile survival game. Link is down in the description. I'm sure if you're enjoying mobile survival games, you're definitely gonna love Donna Zombie Survival. It has awesome graphics, great gameplay, and very frequent updates. So hey, make sure to check it out, and we are gonna check out this brand new event. We have some spring festival quests here. By completing these quests, we will be able to open up some more chests. And also, when we go here to our activities, to our quests, we have here a couple of goals like kill, hair heads, and red zones we can kill four of them and we will get 135 of those points towards that spring festival and there's one more task where we have to search for an egg basket in green zones then we're gonna get 80 of those points so here we go now we're in this green zone in this quiet grove and if i'm not mistaken there are only limited amount of events that you can do per day and after you're done doing all of your events for today you'll be able to do new events the next day so now all we have to do is to find a basket and then we have to find the hair head and to get a Coder. All right, here we go. There's the hair head. Is he vulnerable to anything? Okay, it doesn't really look like these hair heads are vulnerable to anything. So I'm just gonna kill them like that. Here we go. I have fought one hair head. Did he drop a decoder? Because we do have an artifact identifier at the base. Check this out. We've gotten this artifact decoder. So let's get that. And now I think we have to find some sort of a basket here. Is that a basket? Yes, check this out. We can open this up and maybe here we're going to get that egg. And then we can go back to the base. Check this out. We've got these eggs as well. Ordinate eggs. A colorful egg is a tradition in spring festival treat and a source of health in the territories. Increases maximum health by 10%. Restores energy and other stats. Duration 10 minutes. You know what? I'm probably going to take everything and I might as well just eat that egg. <laughs> That's epic. So hey, check this out. We've gotten everything that there is to get. Now we can find sealed eggs in yellow zones, which that's what we are going to do. But hey, we also have one more main quest and it says that we have to go back on the global map. So maybe that guy, that egg collector is going to call us and check this out. He has called us. <laughs> I was right. Come in. Do you have the egg and decoder? Great. Open the egg with the artifact identifier in your base. Fix it if it's broken. Bring the open eggs to me. I'll stay by the windmill. It's nice to cool here. I'll give you extra points for opened eggs. All right. So check this out. Now we've gotten the tasks. But hey, check this out. We've already gotten 25 points. We've gotten here 25 extra points. And it also looks like you can get a pre premium here and with the premium you'll be able to get even extra rewards and check this out we have gotten these spring festival points and we've already gotten our first ever chest small spring box okay so that's cool i think we can collect it let's go let's collect our reward let's claim it and let's get back to the base to this artifact identifier and hey, i've also forgotten to show you that we have some new items to craft we've gotten some new blueprints we have like this easter knapsack we have some new weapons new chests and some new decorations but hey, Let's get here to the basement and let's go to our artifact identifier. So let's drop here this egg. Let's drop this decoder. And in 12 hours, we can decode that thing. But just for the sake of education, I think we can speed it up. We could wait 12 hours. But again, you need that education. Say, <laughs> let me educate you. And let me show you what we're going to get there. So check this out. You get this identified egg. So let's take that thing with us. And we have to bring that egg probably to that guy in our shelter. Say, so let's leave this place. And let's go. Let's talk to that egg collector. Hello, egg collector. I do have this egg. We've got 165 points. Okay, that's cool. Earn Spring Festival points. Okay, go. We've gotten enough of those points. We've gotten 50 extra points. And now we have to exterminate the breach in green zones. We have to exterminate three more breaches there. And then we have to kill hairheads in yellow zones. Okay, cool. Understandable. Have a nice day. But there was also a task in the red zone. I'm certain about it. Okay, go. We also have to kill a couple of hairheads in red locations here as well. We have to kill four hairheads there. Say, so, hey, welcome to this yellow location. We are currently located in the forest outskirts. So over here, we can start doing the tasks. Well, let's quickly deal with the wolf and we're gonna open up that task menu. So check this out here We can kill four hair heads in yellow zones and we're gonna get some of those Spring festival points. So let's do that. Let's search for those hair heads. All right I already see one hair head over here. I'm curious if they have more points in yellow locations. Obviously they do I can only imagine how many points they're gonna have in those uh, red locations. Also, we have some other simple minions following him 
Just simple Samadhi Riders. So let's deal with those Undertakers with all the Samadhi Riders. And I'm curious, how many more of those hair heads can we find in one location? Can you only find one hair head per location? I mean, I have no idea where about to see this. I'm gonna walk around here for a bit. If I'm not gonna find any more hair heads, if I'm not gonna see any more chests, then we might as well just leave this place. Oh no, oh no, oh no, I see this thing. We need to get the throwable items. Let's go. Let's throw that stuff at the mad firefly. Here go. It is dead. Give me back my healing items. And I see one more hair head. So this is the second hair head of the yellow location. Let's deal with that. Let's do a few more shots to the hair head. And that's it, Kiko. We've dealt now with two hair heads. So there have to be two more. Maybe not in this location. Oh no, there is one more. Check this out. There is the third one here. And plus it's guarding a chest. Oh no, first of all, let's deal with that pathfinder. Here, goodbye the pathfinder, and let's deal with the third hair head. Maybe there are even four of them in one location. I have no idea. I mean, we're about to see this. They're quite easy. They only have crowbars. Let's quickly heal up. All right, let's also open up a chest, and I feel like I've forgotten to loot those other hair heads. That was kind of a small brain of me. Anybody else here? Hello? Well, maybe there were only three hair heads. I don't think there is another one. Well, here go. There's another dead hair head. We found nothing. And I have checked this location a few times and it doesn't really look like there are any more of those hair heads or special chests. So I think we're gonna leave this place and uh, we're gonna go back on the global map. And as I said, we have still one more task here that tells us to go to the red zone and kill four hair heads there. So hey, let's go to the windbreak. And I think we're gonna keep going between the windbreak location and these forest outskirts and then we will go back to green zones and we still have a couple of tasks in those green locations. I don't think I've even been many times at this windbreak location. Most of the time I go to the desolated hollows. All right, I already see one hair head. Check this out. It's there in the building. I can come a bit closer. Okay, will that hair head follow me? No, that hair head is probably protected by those Samadhi heroes. All right, let's deal with those Samadhi heroes real quick. And hopefully I have enough weapons and healing items here for this location. We should have enough stuff. I even brought here some armor, which I'm not really certain if it's necessary, but I, the more armor, the better. All right, let's go here. Let's get that. Oh my goodness. Only Undertakers are following me. Oh, plus I have this pistol. Oh, wow. The pistol does 1000 damage. I did not expect this. All right, let's do 1000 damage. Wow, this pistol is awesome. This revolver is great. 1000 damage to the face, point blank. It's better than the other god that we were using. All uh, right, hairheads in red zones. All right, we killed one hairhead. Maybe we can find more of them somewhere. They definitely have to exist here. I see one of those fireflies. I don't really want to fight that firefly. That aberration. Oh no, there's another hunter. Okay, let's pop the hunter then. And here we go, guys. I found another one of those hairheads. Let's get him. Wait, first of all, we got to fight the beater. And now I'm gonna fight that hair head. Oh no, this revolver doesn't have lots of uh, durability. Check this out, we've already lost about like 40% durability. Yikes. Okay, there's another hair head. Maybe you can find four hair heads here. Hopefully. All right, let's heal up here real quick. Here we go, we got that hair head. Let's deal with the beef and maybe let's loot the hair head. Did the hair head drop something? Nope, we've gotten absolutely nothing. Let's deal with one more beef. And here we go, there's the fourth hair head. So we can be done with this location as soon as I deal with this guy. Do one more shot and one more shot. That's it. We are done with that task. We've got 135 points towards that spring festival. But I haven't seen a single chest here, though. That is interesting. We deal with this guy. Oh, no. That's a lot of those schmucks are attacking us. Maybe I can just avoid them and not... Oh, no. There's the chest and another hair head. Heal! At 700 health! Did not pay attention to my health! Oh, 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 oh. That was a bit tough. Wait, I want to open up the chest. Say so yeah, I'm going to quickly deal with these guys. Maybe I can even use a different gun for now. Here, I have this weapon. Let's heal up here once again. All right, so this weapon is quite all right. It's going to do the trick. It's going to do the job. Oh, no, the firefly, the whatever it's called, the aberration. All right, let's pop the stinger. Okay, the stinger is going to die. Let's get that aberration with the throwballs. Here, go one. Here, the second throwball. Let's get back the healing items. And let's find that one more hair head and let's open up that chest. I just saw it. Here go. There's the chest. All right, let's pop that hair head. At least they're quite easy to fight with. Oh no, another aberration. Let's get this. Let's throw these tamahawks. Let's get back my healing items. I love it that you don't have to open up your inventory to get those tamahawks. You can just select them quickly from this quick selection menu. Oh no, let's pop that forest keeper. Looks like that guy has lots of health. 
3k health. Let's heal up. At least we won't have to go back to this red location, right? Take a look spot with one more Samadhi hero. Let's heal up and finally let's open up this chest. It took us 84 years to get to this chest and we've gotten here another one of those sealed eggs artifacts plus we've gotten this incubator. So I think that's it. We can leave this red location and now we can probably go to another yellow location. All right, we are back here in this yellow location in the forest outskirts as we have to fight here one more hairhead. Let's quickly heal up. Let's get him. And I'm pretty certain we've gotten... Yes, we've completed the task. Let's get back to the task menu. Check this out. We've just completed that. That's awesome. But hey, we still have some other tasks in the quest menu here. We have to find a sealed egg in yellow zone. So let's find whatever sealed egg here. Hopefully we can find it. All we have to do is just to find that chest. We did get an artifact decoder from this guy. So hey, that's awesome. Plus we've gotten the chest here. So maybe here inside of that chest, we can find that sealed egg. Then we're going to get some more points and we'll be able to open up some more chests. Once we get back to the base, we'll open up some of those special chests. Yes, we've gotten that egg. Another task completed. We've gotten 105 points. We can now open up another chest. Okay, we can already collect the reward. Let's go. Let's get this other chest. So now we kind of have only two more tasks left to do. We have to exterminate the breach in green zones. So hey, we are going to do that. And then we have to finish hairheads with melee weapons in green zones. And hey, we can easily do that. So let's prepare. So I went back to the base and now we're hopping back inside of the Squire Grove. I did bring this melee weapon with us. So let's test out this melee weapon. All right, I already see one hairhead over there. I'm curious if we can find more than one hairhead in a green location. Probably not. All right, how much damage we're doing? We're doing 900 and something damage here. We've killed one of those guys. So, yeah, once you kill the hairhead, it counts like exterminating the breach. Okay, cool. Plus, we've killed one of those hairheads. So, one out of six. So, we need to kill five more of those guys. Maybe I'm going to get a different gun. Let's go. Let's get this gun. I want to save those melee weapons for those hairheads. Check this out. There's another hairhead. So, let's get this melee weapon. And let's kill this hairhead with a melee weapon. Boom. Did that count? Yes, indeed. That indeed counted. So, two out of six. We need to find one more. I'm pretty certain there's, there has to be another hairhead. I'm just, I just don't believe it if it's not going to be here. Also, maybe let's loot them as you can find those artifact identifiers, maybe. And we've also just leveled up. All right, check this out. I see one more hairhead. Let's get back this. Okay, no, no, not this one. Let's get the melee weapon. Let's attack this hairhead. So these guys are dead. Let's get the, the guns. Actually, I want to save that gun. Let's go. Let's get this weapon. Well, that's it. I think we finished one more task, haven't we? Yes, we have indeed finished that. And there's the fourth hairhead. So maybe there is a random amount of hairheads that spawn. Sometimes you'll get more than one. Sometimes you'll get three, maybe sometimes four. Because check this out. This is the fourth uh, hairhead here. So we need two more hairheads. And I don't think I can find them here now. Definitely. But hey, there is a chest. So that's all what matters. I'm going to go and open up this chest right now. All right. What we've gotten inside of this chest. We've gotten another one of those incubators. All right. Not going to say no to those incubators. So I think we can leave this place and we can go to one more green location. It should be easy peasy. We're going to get two more hair heads and then we can get back to the base and open up those chests that we've gotten because we have gotten a bunch of points and we can open up lots of and lots of chests. And hey, check this out. Exterminate the breaches in green zones. Here we are done with that. We've gotten 150 extra points. Let's get all of this. All right. So I just entered this location and check this out. I can already see one of those hair heads. So this is going to be the fifth hairhead all we need to do is just to find one extra and then we're gonna get 80 of those spring festival points check this out there's the guy and plus we're gonna get the chest and i still somehow so i feel like i've forgotten to loot this guy I keep forgetting to loot them let's go let's loot the body maybe here we can get that identifier nope i've gotten nothing from that guy so maybe now i can get this identifier here perhaps nope oh and we've gotten another task we have to kill six uh, hairheads again in green zones but with whatever weapons. Well, at least here we've gotten another egg. And yeah, here we've gotten another task to do for 80 more points. So I think we can run around this place. Maybe we'll find some more of those hairheads. I have no idea when will these tasks end. Because I'm pretty certain there's a limited amount of tasks that you can do here per day. They won't last forever. All right, check this out. There's one more hairhead. Let's deal with that, guy. So this is going to be our second out of six hairheads. So welcome to another green zone. And let's say hello to another hairhead. So this is going to be our third out of six hairheads. Also here we can maybe find this egg artifact. Yes, indeed, we've gotten that ar artifact. We just don't really get enough of those artifact identifiers. We do kill lots of those hairheads. And now I do check them. But they don't always drop those artifacts now. Not the artifacts, but the artifacts identifiers. Because those eggs are the artifacts. And we need that hard drive identifier. Well, it looks like a hard drive. <laughs> so let's look one more dead body. Nope, no hard drives there. No identifiers there. All right, so I just found the fifth uh, hairhead. 
Let's go. Let's deal with this guy over here. Maybe I shouldn't have come into this cabin. As I'm just gonna get cornered by those undertakers. All right, there's the sixth, the hairhead. I didn't think that they, they're gonna be here. So hey, let's go, let's kill it. I thought I'll have to go to another green location, but the guy has just spawned here. So let's get this guy. We've gotten 80 points. And is that it? Have we got a new quest? Yes, we've got another quest. Oh, wait until the next day. <laughs> That's our quest to wait until the next day. So yeah, just as I said, there is a limited amount of tasks that you can do per day. But those tasks do reset and you'll be able to do more tasks the next day. So yeah, let's run back to the shelter and let's now open up a bunch of chests because we have gotten lots of things. Let's check this out. When we go to the storage, we've gotten these spring festival points. So yeah, let's take them from the inbox. How many points? Have we gotten there in total? Well, let's go here. Let's open up the Spring Festival tab. And we have gotten 1,025 points. So basically, we've gotten this amount of points just in one day. And hey, while we are here at the base, I might as well just go back to that artifact identifier and start identifying another one of those eggs as we are going to get 100 plus points. Say, so let's go here. Let's drop this egg over here. Let's drop this decoder and in 12 hours, we'll be able to open it up. And hey, while we are back here at the base, we might as well just open up these two boxes. So let's take these small spring boxes and let's open up the first box and check this out. Inside of the first box, we've gotten a bunch of skin items. We've gotten three grenades, some repair kits, some armor, a bit of healing items and we've gotten even a weapon and another artifact identifier and hey check this out in my opinion the coolest reward were these two angle steels because you need those angle steels in order to craft those new big chests so you can craft this big plank storeroom but to craft it you require 20 of those angle steels and hey let's open up one more of those small spring boxes let's see what kind of things we can get here can we get more of those angles in this chest and yes indeed we've got we have gotten three of those angles We've gotten a little bit of armor, some more repair kits, and we've gotten a bow. All right. And hey, that wasn't a bad first day in this spring festival event. And you can check out this spring festival event for yourself. Link is down in the description. I highly suggest you checking out this Donna Zombie survival game. As you saw yourself, it's a really fun mobile survival game. And I highly suggest you checking out my another Donna Zombie survival video. Click on the second guy and you'll go to my first ever Donna Zombie survival video. Or hop over to my channel, go to playlist, and there you'll find a lot of other games that I played here on the channel. And if you're not subscribed yet, definitely make sure to drop a subscribe button and notification bell to not miss any future videos. And consider following me on Instagram or Twitter at Episyric. Mm -hmm. Yep.